What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's the Earthmaster here on this beautiful Saturday night, July 23rd, about, uh, well, 7.51 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 1.9 earthquake here in the big island of Hawaii. I want to get into uh, some earthquake activity, but first I want to check out a, uh, an image that was sent to me. From Graham Green, got the uh, Aurora Borealis last night around the southwestern portion, uh, southwestern Nova Scotia, Canada region, about 105 Eastern time here. Shot this beautiful shot of the Auroras in that area using a, a pretty awesome Canon uh, R6, which is pretty cool. I appreciate that, Graham Green, for that Aurora image there pretty awesome let me tell you all right what else we got here earthquake activity along the west coast appears to be dying off a little bit uh not a whole lot going on far as 2.5 and above goes let me pull up the all magnitudes map here see what we got going on northern california and the pacific northwest not a whole lot going on but i think that's uh the USGS not uh, issuing any earthquakes there for the earthquake catalog. Uh, I don't believe that there's absolutely nothing going on here in this area. Uh, just it is the weekend and uh, they turn to, they they tend to s turn off the switch, so to speak, in reporting earthquakes. That includes microquakes as well. Uh, let's see what else we got down south here into Southern California. Little activity on the San Andreas Fault section here. I was just up here uh, earlier today into the uh, region of the northern section, the transform area of the uh, San Andreas Fault. Uh, we'll chat about that here in just a little bit. Uh, some movement here around the Avenal area, seeing a little swarm of activity. Uh, not for certain which fault system this is on. Let me see if I can find it here on my end near the uh, Near the Avenal area, it is, uh, it's definitely a ways down there. There's a couple different fault systems that run through here, uh, just to the east of here. Uh, looks like the, let me see if I can get this to pull up. I can't get it. Either way, there's a little fault system that kind of runs up here. Uh, they've been having a little swarm of activity within this region couple twos and some ones here within the last 24 hours uh, just right at the base here looks like within the foothill region near Kalinga and the Avenal area also as noted there a little spotty activity on this the uh, creeping section of the San Andreas Fault Long Valley Super Volcano absolutely quiet a Ridgecrest region and southward things kept to a minimal not a whole lot going on here in the uh, southern portion of the state either Texas look at the rest of the country holy smokes what's going on here did the USGS pull the plug on all the quakes nah I think it's just really quiet out here in the states right now uh, we are getting some activity kind of ramping up here in the South America region getting some deeper activity into the uh, Argentina area underneath Argentina down there about 200 kilometers or so into the Peru Chile trench uh, some further activity into the uh, south, south, uh, uh, kind of over there by the uh, Drake Passage area, Scotia Sea region. 4.8. Sorry, I'm, I am super tired, man. I've just been doing a lot of driving today. After this update, I am going to call it a night. I'm not even joking. Call me a party pooper. It's Saturday night, yes, but whoo, I'm tired. Uh, Okay, Mid-Atlantic Ridge, seen a 5.1 earthquake. This one striking, it uh, looks like uh, late last night, so a little activity kicking up there in the Atlantic Ocean. Also getting a swarm of activity around the Puerto Rico Trench area. Some deeper movement up here, kind of unfolding there in that area. Uh, aside from that, a little spotty activity throughout Indonesia. I uh, did see a 4.9 earlier this afternoon in the Taiwan region. Also some activity kicking up here deep into the Fiji Islands region as well. Some this morning, some a little bit uh, afternoon time frame. Some deep activity 
611 kilometers, 500, uh, 515 there for a couple of those earthquakes. Uh, getting some activity ramping up here around the Iran region. Again, this little area of, of interest here is where we've seen some swarming in the past. Past couple months has been seen uh, quite a bit of swarming. Doesn't look like it's over yet in terms of earthquake activity of 5.4 and 5.6 striking within minutes of each other earlier this afternoon. Uh, let's check out the Big Island of Hawaii and then we'll kind of scoot this along a little bit. Uh, looks like one earthquake out here around the Loihi Seamount uh, 2.5 and some activity kicking up around the Mauna Loa region. Uh, some more uh, shallower earthquake activity popping up up there in that uh, area. The hazard notification system here from the USGS it kind of gives out advisories and whatnot on uh, uh, numerous earthquake or uh, numerous volcanoes. Uh, doesn't show anything recent for the Mauna Loa area. Uh, so right now things appear to be uh, typical there around the volcanoes. Um, there in the Big Island of Hawaii, trimmer map tonight along the Cascadia subduction zone. Looks like about 12 ep epicenters here into the southern Oregon region. Not that big of a deal, folks. A little bit of uh, activity. And I uh, kind of want to show you guys here on the map where I was at earlier today uh, along this uh, Mendocino region here. This little village, uh, Mendocino. Very nice little community. Uh, expensive, though. Holy smokes, man. Talk about, talk about, uh, whoo, price, prices out there. Pretty crazy. Um... Anyway, I was up there with Missy Mimi's today, early this morning, looking around, looking at uh, all the different features out there uh, that we like to look at uh, when it comes to geology and, and the rock structure and, and the folding of the plates out here. Pretty neat to see. Uh, there is the segment out here, the San Andreas Fault Zone, that runs to the west of me here. A little bit closer spot would have been down here near the, uh, oh man, I can't remember the name. But uh, just right here along along this area, but there is the San, uh, San Andreas uh, transform fault section that runs through here, and then we were right smack dab on it uh, earlier today. Pretty cool to see all this feature uh, features out there in the rocks. A lot of erosion and whatnot going on out there along the plates, and uh, of course the ocean has a lot to do with that as well. But uh, anyway, we'll cover. Uh, we'll probably get into a little bit more of that tomorrow when I can think, and when I can. Uh, uh, utilize hopefully all my brain cells it's just I'm tired I don't know what it is something about driving that road from uh, from Fort Bragg to Willits there highway 20 is just a windy road it's like being on a roller coaster and man I had some heartburn driving over there and back I don't know maybe it's maybe it's a sign of getting old I don't know maybe it's all the fudge I ate from the uh, chocolate factory there in the uh, Fort Bragg region. They had some really good fudge. We stopped in there, uh, grabbed some snacks. Also ate down there at the uh, uh, restaurant down there in Fort Bragg near the wharf. Pretty good seafood. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm, I'm just going to call it a night. It's 8 o'clock here my time. Live stream is fixed. Not for sure what went on. Just kind of monitoring the activity. It looks like the Earthquake 3D uh, stream froze up which sometimes it does suspiciously, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's bedtime. So I hope everyone has a good night. Uh, again, a little activity ramping up out here around the Puerto Rico area. South America as well. Notice the swarm of movement here with the EMSC model on the globe. So just uh, we'll keep an eye on it and see how it comes out, folks. Have a good night. Stay safe out there, and we will chat you tomorrow after some much-needed, hopefully, sleep. Take care, folks.